There's so much with city planning and restructuring in this country because it's just been built on car culture. So things are really spread out and big and sprawling. So mobile, small units make a lot of sense. I feel like it's a house that's mobile happens to be mobile. What we're doing is getting around building codes in a kind of way that's potentially dangerous. We're putting ourselves in a position where my home is illegal. Yeah, I mean, a house isn't legally a house unless it has one room that's 1,200 square feet. I mean, you know, if any of my neighbors had a problem, they could say, you got to get off. And legally, I'd have to move. I want to cut it in the corner so that that part's coming straight up. How big is this place going to be? It is eight and a half feet wide, 16 foot two long, and the DMV regulations say it has to be under 13 foot five. So yeah. square feet, you know? It's like in the 130 realm. It's not up to me to say what's enough for somebody, but certainly there have been times and places where this has been enough for everyone. People are recognizing that Less is more in a way, you know, like not having so much stuff crowd your space means you have more time to just hang out in your space and just be. We got tagged at Janine's house. Tag if someone purpose. complains, then we, then the police are required to tag it. But when they tag it, we end up with 72 hours before we have to move it. So we moved it here. <laughs> Across from the city hall. And it got tagged again. So we have until Thursday for it to remain in this public location, and then we can move it to another public location, but we'd kind of rather sell it. Does it stay on wheels, or do you... Can it stays you, on wheels. stays on wheels. Yep. Yeah. It has a license. It's $20 every five years right. through the DMV. And so that's... Therefore, you don't have to deal with permits now. You just park it, look it up, and away you go. That's very cool. The whole idea of the trailer being a loophole in the whole permitting business, you can't take it off the wheels. It is the trailer itself. So that is what allows you to call it a trailer and treat it as a trailer legally. So you could put this in a mobile home park. It's the same class of vehicle. Some people pick right up on the idea of, yeah, wow, I could buy this thing and bring it up to my property by the lake and I've got a house. Other people are sort of like, well, I guess I'd have to have somewhere to put it. So it's like, yeah, yeah, you would. <laughs> but that's not the problem we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve the problem of I need a house and I don't have one. It's instant house, you know? It's really ready for someone to make home. You know, the shelving up here, like right in this area, there could be like a daybed type of thing that has storage underneath and kind of like a narrow couch here or chair, sofa, big fireplace, shelving up here, hooks for pots, spice rack, maybe like a tall washer and dryer here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If it were me, I'm much more simple, and I think I would go for some very tall armoire. You know, in the kitchen you need a fridge, and maybe I'd go for some cabinets, just little freestanding cabinets to put some stuff in. Come on in if you'd like. Driving by, I thought, what a, what a cool thing. Yeah. Really cool. So we've got granite countertops, propane stove, stainless steel sink, Here's our beautiful utility grid. <laughs> well, it needs to be hooked up to whatever solution someone has. If they want to plug it in straight to the grid, they can do that. You could power it with solar if you wanted. There's a hot and cold hose. This is sort of like the takeoff area. It has to be finished per whoever buys it. And there's different ways of looking at exploiting the, the fact that it's on wheels. It's not a travel trailer, but it's something that you can move if you want to. It occurs to me that somebody might find the perfect summer spot on their property, in the trees, in a nice lush little grove, but maybe in the winter they pull it out of the trees and park it, you know, exposed. But then again, the fact that it's on wheels might have no bearing on what you do. You can just put it up on blocks for the rest of its life.